fine to set goals, but be aware of the timeline for your goal. Because your ambitions can be as big as you want. You can make a, have a six-figure, seven-figure business. You can have a full-time client load. Great, wonderful, whatever inspires you. But my question to you is, when did you think that was going to happen? Did you think you were going to have a full client load by the end of the year? You might. I don't know. But why does it matter to you so much that you have it by the end of the year or within the next six months or three months or whatever? Because the timeline for your goals is usually where wrongdoing starts to happen. Yeah, let me explain why. Again, let's say you want to make, have a six figure, seven figure business. Let's just say six figures. Most of you are still working on that part of it. That's fine, right? I want to have a six figure business. I'm going to make at least $100,000 a year. Great, wonderful. I, I love it. it. Inspires you? Good. Well, do you care when it happens? Whether it's this year or 15 years from now? Does it? Yeah, you know, it's like, well, yeah, I've got to pay my bills. But here's the magical thing about it. Have you noticed that your bills are going to be fine? Month after month, no matter how destitute you are, like somehow every month you're able to be fed. I mean, the fact that you're watching this video, right? You're, you're, at month after month, somehow your bills get paid. Yes, I know some of you are in debt or, or in need again, but somehow month after month, you're fine. You always figure something out or the universe somehow always supports you. So let me just suggest that you let go of fear of being fed and being housed, just let go of it. Honestly, just let it go. Like somehow, and, and instead, and let go of the focus of how much money you're going to make and how many clients you're going to have. Let it all go. And instead, focus all your energies on whether you're following your schedule today. It sounds so funny. But this is how I run my business. I just show up Day after day, week after week, like I did not feel like starting this video because I was just in a deep nap just now and I had a, a particularly very strange day and took a long nap. My, you know, my schedule, well, I did plan for this because I had to do a, a long errand. Long story short, I didn't feel like making this video. I got up, I'm, I'm here on Instagram live anyway, I'm making this video because I don't care about the results. I. I don't care if any of you like this video or not. And I'm not just saying that so you would like to support me. Now, honestly, if this video isn't something you would naturally like, do not like it. I don't want the wrong signals in my, in my data anyway. But what I care about is that I showed up for this and that I published this. And no matter how good or bad it was, I'm just going to upload this on YouTube later. And in the future, it'll go maybe on LinkedIn and, and Facebook and other places, whatever, no matter this. But I just have, I have a schedule that I follow. That's it. No matter how much I don't feel like it, no matter how unwell I feel today, even during I've gotten COVID twice in the past uh, four years, actually, almost four years, I've gotten COVID twice. And even during COVID, I was still making videos. I'm not saying you should do that, but it's like I wanted to prove that I don't make a big deal out of any of this. I don't care about my results. I really don't. But because I care so much about following my schedule day after day, the results seem to take care of themselves. Like I said, I let go of whether my, my rent's going to be paid, my food's going to be paid, even when I was a poor student. And of course, I paid them. Every month, I was faithful doing that. But I just, I don't know how the month's money's going to show up, but I just did whatever I was meant to do in front of me. I, I use my mind. I try to plan ahead if I can. But it's like you... you you're going to be taken care of, honestly. Somehow, magically, you always ha look at yourself. Your fact that you're still here watching this video, you're you are always going to be taken care of. And somehow, when you don't and you die, then you get taken care of in the soul. <laughs> it's like it's always going to be okay. But the question is, all I keep focusing on is, am I planning to the best of my ability based on my stamina? Yeah, you got to respect your stamina, respect your your boundaries, your life the needs in your life, taking care of your family, whatever. Take, of course, plan thoughtfully and then follow your plans. Like that's the most important thing. Just follow your plans day after day, week after week, no matter if the results are zero for two, three, five years, no matter if the results are zero. That's the hard part. And that's what actually keeps most of you from success 
because that's I had to take two and a half years when I started making content before I started noticing, okay, I'm getting traction on a regular basis, but two and a half years of relatively little likes, comments, and but I just don't care. I don't care about the result. And I, I, I want you to take kind of take on this ethic. I don't care about the result, but I care so much that I show up today and follow my schedule, whatever it is, because by following my schedule, by following your schedule, you get stronger, you get less attached to results, and then your skill naturally builds because you just keep practicing. And by your skill naturally building, guess what? Your results are going to be better. More people are going to find you naturally impressive, even though you don't try, you just naturally are impressive because you really have gotten that good. But it's by day to day, the subtleness of long term growth. So whatever your schedule is today, follow it, no matter how much you don't feel like doing it. And whenever you are able to do that, you've just grown in the ways that matter the most. I hope this is helpful. Time for me to go to my next appointment now. So I'll end this video now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.